Welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about diagnosis of pregnancy. Pregnancy is the condition between conception and birth. During this period, the fertilized egg develops in the uterus. In humans, pregnancy lasts about 280 days. Pregnancy usually occurs by sexual intercourse, but can also occur through assisted reproductive technology procedures. It is essential to make an accurate diagnosis of pregnancy and establish the estimated date of the delivery of the fetus. In this lecture, we will discuss how to diagnose pregnancy using signs and symptoms of pregnancy, human chorionic gonadotropin, fetal heart rate, and ultrasound scan. The most commonly reported symptom of pregnancy is cessation of menses. Pregnancy is highly likely if 10 or more days have passed from the time of expected menses in a woman who previously had regular menstrual cycles. Most times, women suspect they are pregnant when they notice they miss their period. In fact, Pregnancy is the most common cause of secondary menorrhea in women of reproductive age group. The first day of the last menstrual bleeding before the missed period is taken as the last menstrual period (LMP). This can be used to calculate the estimated gestational age of the fetus and the expected delivery dates. To get the estimated delivery date from the LMP, minus 3 months, plus 7 days and plus 1 year to the LMP. For example, if the LMP is November 20, 2022, then EDD will be August 27, 2023. Some of the skin changes in pregnancy include striae gravidarum, also called stretch marks, which are reddish streaks usually located on the abdomen, breast, and thighs. Linear nigra, which is the darkly pigmented line located in the midline of the abdomen. Cloasma or melasma gravidarum, also called mask of pregnancy, which are irregular brown patches of varying size on the face and neck. And geomas, which are usually present on the face, neck, chest, and arms, and palma erythema. These skin changes are usually as a result of melanocyte stimulating hormone. Nausea and overmitting, also called money sickness, is another symptom of pregnancy. Nausea and overmitting occurs in approximately 70 to 85 percent of all pregnancies, most notably at 2 to 12 weeks gestation. It frequently occurs in the morning, but can occur throughout the day. Hyperemesis gravidarum is persistent for meeting that typically occurs early in pregnancy. When severe, this can result in weight loss, dehydration, and electrolyte imbalances such as hypokalemia, alkalosis, and acidosis. The breast changes also occur during pregnancy, such as increase in breast size, increased breast tenderness, the nipples become larger, more pigmented, and more erectile, the areola becomes broader and more pigmented, and colostrum may be expressed from the nipples. The uterus increases in size throughout pregnancy. By week 12 of gestational age, the uterus becomes palpable above the pubic symphysis. By week 16, it is usually at the midpoint between the pubic symphysis and the umbilicus. By the 20th week, the fundus is at the umbilicus. By week 28, it is usually 6 cm above the umbilicus. At 32 weeks, it is 6 cm below the xiphoid process. By the 36th week, it is 2 cm below the xiphoid process while at 40 weeks it is usually 4 cm below the xiphoid process. Enlargement of the uterus is mainly due to hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the biometrial smooth muscles. Early in pregnancy, this process is primarily stimulated by estrogen. As pregnancy progresses, increase in uterine size is usually due to mechanical distension. The cervix also becomes softer during pregnancy. A non-pregnant cervix is said to feel like the cartilage of the nose while the pregnant cervix feels like the lips of the mouth. This cervical softening is referred to as Eger's sign and is due to reduction in the amount of collagen and accumulation of water in the cervix. There is brief discoloration of the vagina and cervical mucosa due to vascular congestion in pregnancy. This is known as Chadwick's sign. This vascular congestion is usually as a result of estrogen. The pregnant woman also reports perception of fetal movements which occurs first at approximately 20 weeks gestational age in prima gravida and at 18 weeks gestational age in multiparous women. The first fetal movement felt by the mother is called quickening. Detection of human chorionic gonadotropin HCG in the mother's serum and urine is generally used to diagnose pregnancy. It is a glycoprotein made by the trophoblasts. It is composed of two subunits, the alpha and beta subunits. The alpha subunit is similar in structure to hormones such as luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone. 
However, the bitter subunits are unique in structure. Thus, the urine and serum pregnancy tests are based on antibodies specific to the bitter subunit of the HCG, also known as the bitter HCG test. Human chorionic gonadotropin helps to sustain the corpus lithium during the first seven weeks of development, after which the placenta starts making its own hormones to sustain the pregnancy. It can be detected in the maternal serum or urine around 6 to 12 days after fertilization, which corresponds to 3 to 4 weeks after the LMP. Usually, this is when the woman usually suspects she is pregnant, as a woman with a regular 28-day menstrual cycle will also be expecting a period during this time. The XCG level in the serum increases quickly, almost doubling every 3 days for the first 8 to 10 weeks of pregnancy, and it usually peaks at around 10 weeks gestational age and then declines for the rest of the pregnancy. Pregnancy tests can also detect XCG produced by either TD4 mole, choriocarcinoma, germ cell tumors, XCG produced by some breast cancers, and large cell carcinoma of the lung, and also topic pregnancies. If XCG level is greater than 1,500 million international units per male and the transvaginal ultrasound scan shows no evidence of intrauterine pregnancy, the patient most likely had an ectopic pregnancy. Proteinuria and urinary tract infection could also give a false positive urine beta XCG test. Hearing the fetal heartbeat confirms the presence of a viable pregnancy. Electronic Doppler devices can detect fetal heart tones as early as 10 with gestation. Normal fetal heart rate ranges from 110 to 160 beats per minute. If fetal heart rate tones are not usually escorted by 12 is gestation with a Doppler device, an ultrasound evaluation should be performed to document a viable intrauterine pregnancy. Ultrasound scan is a non-invasive tool that serves multiple purposes in pregnancy. It can be used to confirm an intrauterine pregnancy. It can be used to document the viability of an embryo as fetal cardiac motion is expected to be seen when the embryo measures greater than or equal to 5 mm. It can be used to diagnose multiple gestations. It can be used to estimate the gestational age of the fetus. Up to 12 weeks, the crown rump length is predictive of gestational age within 4 days. Ultrasound dating becomes progressively less accurate after 20 weeks gestation. Ultrasound scan can also be used to screen for fetal structural abnormalities.